Gareth Bell, speaking ahead of that game, was asked about everything that's happened over the summer at Real Madrid. He said, I understand I was made more of a scapegoat than most. I wouldn't say I'm playing happy, but I'm playing. I'm sure there'll be plenty more turbulence. We will have to come to some sort of conclusion. Um, scapegoat? <gasps> Bail? I don't know, was he? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Well, Help that's... Me out of memory, that... I'm trying well, to think back. Well, he certainly has had his fair share. Mm. You know, maybe they, maybe they all have, I don't know, but he's had his fair share. Uh, look, I don't know if he feels sorry for his about the Real Madrid situation, but he's dug his heels in there and he's now getting game time. And I think what he means by playing happy is that he knows a lot of the fans are just are never going to accept him. And two, he's playing for a manager who clearly wanted him out and now is having to use him. So, I, I don't know, it's a real funny situation. You're looking I'm not, strange. I'm not, well, I'm not sure he's a scapegoat. At the end of the day, him, along with the rest of the team, weren't particularly good. He's got a horrendous, in the last couple of years, horrendous injury um, yeah. um, list. And he's on an absolute fortune. It's obvious that if you're going to change the makeup of your team, he's probably going to be first on the list because of all those things. So I'm not so sure he's a scapegoat. It's, it's, if I'm Real Madrid and I'm changing the whole landscape, of course he's one of the first to go. It's obvious. That, that doesn't mean that you're picking on him. Let's say he feels like a scapegoat. Let's say that he feels like there's turbulent times again and ahead. And let's say that he doesn't know what the conclusion of the soap opera is going to be. All that's fine and well. I'm just not quite sure why you bring it up now when you're actually playing. And you're playing and you're scoring goals. And you're going to be in the, on the field for the foreseeable future because, oh, by the way, Eden Hazard is still injured and there's questions about to who else is going to play up top. And so you're going to be the guy and because you have been playing well, you're going to, be, you're going to continue to be on the field. So if there was ever a time for Gareth Bale to actually feel like he could be somewhat happy, yeah. this would be it. And oh, by the way, if he is concerned about his relationship with the rest of the group, with the fans, with the club, whatever, you don't go off to national team duty and say these things pretending as if they're not going to hear this. They're not going to see it. This is going to be, this is going to be on, on, on front page in Madrid at some point. Well, Gareth Bale said this, this, and that. And once again, it's going to take the rhetoric away from your performances and into the drama that has become your own story. But I don't think he gives us stuff. Well, apparently not. No, I think that's what we're No, I don't think it, he does, because like, if anybody who's... And I don't know if the, how, how much the stories are true about how much he knows of the Spanish language, but if you don't, if you don't pick it up in the years he's been there, that's somebody who... He's not bothered. Yeah. He's not bothered about, you know... I think the point about the scapegoat is, is even back when Zidane's first period is when he was fit and he's coming off the bench and scoring a world there against Liverpool in the Champions League final... Yeah. He still knew he wasn't wanted then. 